at YouTube, I've been gone a while. I did tell you that I was going to be gone for two weeks, so at least you guys knew that that was what was happening, and I just didn't post for two weeks for no reason whatsoever. I didn't really ever get a chance to record any videos while I was gone. I could have done like a vlog or something maybe, just walked around with my phone, but I really didn't want to subject you guys with any good reviews to that sort of quality or anything. So I decided I was just going to wait until I got back from my vacation and everything. And now I am back doing more reviews. So without further ado, let's get right into my review of the new movie, Star Trek Beyond. So as we all know, Star Trek Beyond is the third installment in this new Star Trek movie series. Started with uh, the first two, directed by J.J. Abrams. And now this one is directed by Justin Lin, also known for directing, I think, basically almost all of the Fast and Furious movies, if I'm not mistaken. And I will say, trailers of this movie made me go like, Oh, this isn't going to be good. I remember I was so just dumbfounded when I saw the first trailer for this come out. I'm like, this isn't going to be good. This isn't. It's directed by the same guy that did Fast and Furious. There's no way it's going to be any good at all. However, got into this movie. I started watching it. And the beginning alone made me go like, this is going to be a Star Trek movie. This is going to be good. And I was blown away. I honestly thought Star Trek Beyond it might be the best one out of these new movies yet. I'm not a huge, like, Star Trek fan, you know what I mean? I've never seen the original series, I've never seen Next Generation, I've never seen any of the Star Trek series. But I have seen these movies, and so far I've really enjoyed the movies overall. Into Darkness, I like, of course, but I know there's some people that are kind of uh, iffy on it. And I really like the first one directed by J.J. Abrams. And I would say that I still think that is my favorite out of all of these, but Star Trek Beyond comes in at a very close second. It was fantastic. Of course, this movie, if you all don't know already, it involves the crew of, this, of the Enterprise, uh, led by James T. Kirk, played by Chris Pine. And it actually gets into some of like the character development and building of these characters and getting their actual overall character, you know, embedded into the, like the audience, like trying to figure out what, who these people are now. Like we're three movies in and we still don't know who these people are apparently. And I thought this was definitely the best movie or in these three films so far that is actually focused on um, building up the character of these characters, you know what I mean? And I thought that this movie did a very good job at developing the relationships between all of the characters and giving um, certain characters like uh, Bones uh, a lot more to do and a lot more to say or like Chekhov or Scotty and I really thought that was nice because um, in the last movie, two movies, all that they really focused on of course was Spock, Kirk, and maybe, um, maybe Bones, and, and overall, and the villain, of course, and overall, it really ended up not working for at a character standpoint, but overall, the movie itself and the story and everything was enough to pull you in that it didn't really matter, but this one definitely felt the most like, hey, this is the Enterprise, and this is their crew, and this crew sticks together like glue and their their unity will actually bring them together and not tear them apart and everything and it actually very much did that in the movie and it made me go like yes 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 good job <laughs> of course most of that I'm sure can be directly credited to Simon Pegg and his co-writer I can't remember his name who wrote this movie and I think that they know knew what they were writing about that they were doing a Star Trek film and not just something by JJ Abrams and JJ Abrams I'm not gonna say he's a bad director because he's not he's a, a fantastic director he just didn't envelop what I assume Star Trek is necessarily 
Of course, I can't say much because I'm not a huge Star Trek fan. I'm kind of a normie when it comes to Star Trek. I know basically nothing about it overall except for the characters and that there were shows. And that's about it. Yeah, so examples. Bones, played by uh, Carl Urban, got a lot more to do in this movie. He got a lot more dialogue. He and Spock are, like, by themselves at one point in the movie because of this whole, like, alien attack that goes, uh, that attacks their ship and everything, leaves them stranded on this planet. And Spock and Bones are separated from the entire crew, and they're by themselves, so they have a lot of dialogue together. And it really made for some nice um, character growth and relationship growth between these two characters and for Bones' character overall. And, yeah, I know I'm saying character a lot, but that was, like, the best, one of the best aspects of this movie. The story was very, um, fine. Uh, while it was a bit simple, I feel as though that it was a Star Trek story, as much as you can get to one. The main villain just wants revenge, like the last two villains, and of course that's always what it's about. And it's not really spoiling anything, but it's really all his character is in the main run of things of the movie. But for the most part, I didn't mind the villain of this movie. His motivations aren't really revealed until the last, like, 10, 15 minutes of the movie, or maybe it was 20 minutes of the movie. So it was like, okay, I want to know why this guy's doing what he's doing, because it seems like he has a bigger purpose, but we're not shown it yet. And then we actually get shown it, and it's like, well, we could have learned that maybe, like, 30 minutes ago. <laughs> so we cared about this villain's plight in his life and everything. But overall, it didn't really ruin the movie because it the movie was still awesome. Yes, I really enjoyed the fact that the entire crew got separated and everything in this movie. And they had to, like, they had to bond together and try to regroup and try to figure out the like ways to think about getting their crew and how to get off the planet and how to stop this guy all at once without having a ship of any sort to use in their defense. And there was one part that was in the movie and you all know that Sabotage, the song by the Beastie Boys, was used in the trailer. It's used in this movie, I'm not going to say when, but it, I actually thought that it was used very well and it was honestly so astonishing that I like that segment of the movie because it's not just playing in the movie for no reason at all just to be hey it's, it's sabotaged by the Beastie Boys remember when it played in the first movie it was actually had a purpose in the overall plot by the end of the movie and I was like okay I can I can deal with that and it it would have made for an awful sequence if it had not been for that reason itself. Anyway guys, yes, Star Trek Beyond was a very entertaining movie. One of those blockbusters, of course, that you can go in, you can sit and have fun, you can have an entertaining time, and walk out very, very satisfied. That hasn't happened a lot with blockbusters that have come out this year. <laughs> Ghostbusters! And overall, I really enjoyed Star Trek Beyond. It had great characters, it had great development for those characters, unlike the last two films. I would still say it's only second to the first one, directed by J.J. Abrams. And the overall story was fine. The bad guy, the villain, I should say, the antagonist, had a kind of questionable, like, motives, um, kind of. Because you didn't even really know them until the end, so it made it go. It made you go like, well, really? But overall, the movie was a fantastic ride, and I really enjoyed it. And I gotta say that it is worth buying on Blu-ray. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this review. If you haven't, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this review if you like the video. And with that, guys, uh, I apologize if my review quality isn't really the greatest right now, and I repeated myself too often, but I am so tired. It's like 12 o'clock where I am right now, and I am tired of 
road tripping, but I really wanted to do this review and get it out for you guys, or at least just record it so that I didn't have to do it later. And that's just my apology if you didn't like this review already. Um, but definitely go out and see Star Trek Beyond. I enjoyed it a ton. I'm sure anyone can enjoy it, even if you're not a Star Trek fan. Um, if you have seen Star Trek Beyond, comment below what you thought about it. And overall, out of the three, if you haven't seen Star Trek Beyond yet, but you can't really do this without that, what is your favorite of the Star Trek movies so far? You can comment below that as well, if you would like to. And that, guys, I want to thank you again so much for watching this review. I will have my review for Jason Bourne up, hopefully, um, after this one. <laughs> I shouldn't say days, because that's not going to happen. So it will definitely be up after this review. And that, guys, thanks again. I'll see you in the next review. Bye.